So I had a great question asked on one of the comments and I just wanted to address that really quick because I think it's a great question and a great topic uh, for WordPress. So the question was, when do you decide as a developer to build a feature as a plugin or with the custom theme? So when, we, when we're building out a custom theme, we never include any kind of custom features for that website. Um, we build the themes for uh, in the menu area, we put the menus and we even put a, um, a widget area in that menu area. And then we try to put as many widget areas throughout the site as possible where we think things are gonna go. Like if you're gonna do a shopping cart, the shopping cart area that we want that to go, we usually build it as a widget that way the shopping cart will show up there. We can use that as a widget and then build the plugins to do everything. And the reason why we do that is if the customer decides they want to change the theme, they can change to a new theme and not break everything that we did. Now, the new theme may not have the areas in it that it really needs, but if it's a theme that another theme that we're building, we don't have to bring all that code over to a new theme. The plugins are already active. They're already running. We just go into the widget areas of that theme and put in the shopping cart or the calendar or whatever customization that we've built for that website. We can now add it to that new theme in the WordPress admin without having to touch the code. So we have two or three different themes that we use throughout um, different sites and we can change those themes a little bit as far as design and location of the logo and a location of the menu, but they're all kind of a basic um, theme that we've built and we can design them out however we need to. But we use menu areas, widget areas throughout the theme so that all of our special code for that website is in a plugin. And then if something goes wrong, you can deactivate that plugin and not have to go into the code of the theme and make changes because you really can't deactivate the theme. You can change the theme, but when you change the theme, it's the entire site looks different. So by building everything custom as plugins, then you can enable or disable that plugin. If there's an error or, you know, you've used code that is no longer, that's been deprecated, you can just deactivate that plugin. The site still works. That function might not work, which may be critical to the actual um, overall look and design of the site or function of the site, but the site's at least not completely down because if something goes wrong in the code that you've done in the theme, you have to change the theme really quick to get the site back up and then you got to fix the problem and then go in and do it. So putting all that custom code in a plugin is always better than doing it in a custom theme or a child theme or something like that. So build it as a plugin. Hope that helps. Thanks for the comment and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks.